This video is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create a shipping plan and send your inventory to Amazon warehouses. This is a guide that is good for beginners and also for advanced sellers with the tips and hacks that I'm going to share here. This is a new interface that Amazon introduced lately that save us sellers a lot of valuable time when we create shipping plan and also avoiding mistakes. Hi, this is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com where I share videos updates, tutorials about Amazon FBA. I'm a seven-figure seller and all the information that I share with you here is completely free. Now, as we go through the video, if you find value in it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you also subscribe to the channel. All the links for everything I'm going to mention in this video will be uh, down below in the description section as well. So for the interface, it's in the same place. In order to create a new shipping plan, you are going to go to inventory and then manage FBA shipments. Then the interface look much different. Uh, it's more colorful uh, comparing the previous interface, which was like, um, like more like that. Um, so, you know, it's a big uh, difference. And I'll show you through this video the exact uh, the way how to create shipping plan and also some tips and things that they improved and added that I'll show you how they can actually save you time. So I think what really the best thing about this new interface is that it allows you to make some more or less mistakes than before because it's all in one step. You can easily see everything and uh, navigate through the pages instead of, uh, you know, going back and forth or uh, playing with other pages here it's all in the same page and i'll show you exactly how it works so we have here i'll, I'll i i'm not going to really mention what are the differences um uh, but i'm going to really explain about the features that we have in the new shipping plan so here we have learn more which it's a help section nothing really valuable uh here just a feedback and here it's a new edition received inventory report gives you a little report on how many units and where and what's going on um, then we have uh, here the columns, some filtering here that are easier than the old filters, which was like that. Um, it's just more cleaner, okay? Then we have the status, we have the buttons, we have, as I showed, the restock limits in the previous video. And overall, you can see here all your plans. To create a new plan, you can, uh, of course, click here on Send to Amazon. Here is just the shipping queue. Here you have another button that is called inbound performance summary. Just give you like a, a report on your performance with the inbound. Here I don't have any issues, but it's important to check it because if you have issues, they might block uh, your ability to really send inventory to Amazon. Here we have scan and label. To be honest, I never tried this thing, uh, but you can scan an item barcode to view the matching listing. So this is more for wholesalers and people that have or use a lot of items that they ship and that would save them a lot of time. Upload shipping plan file. If you do uh, a lot of shipping plans, you might want to do the bulk option, uploading them with a file. In our case, it's not going to be it. We are going to use the send to Amazon. If you saw, when you click on the send to Amazon, or I'm sorry, on the scan and uh, or, or what it's called, scan and I never use it, so I don't remember it, sorry. So it's called scan and label. If you see when you go to those pages, the inbound performance and the scan and label, these are the old interface. They didn't change it. They might come up with this new looking, uh, you know, report. The same with their, uh, you know, business report and a fulfillment report. These are new interfaces which are much more responsive in my opinion. I think that they really improve the speed comparing the previous interface. So that's a really, you know, uh, welcoming. We welcome this and happy to see that Amazon really taking the feedback and trying to improve Seller Central as well. Um, so we're going to click on send to Amazon to show you how does it work shipping or creating a new shipping plan. Okay. So first of all, you have step one here which you have all your items. It's very cool and easy because you can choose uh, which item you want to ship. The great thing is that now you can have, you could do that before, but now it's much easier. But so you can define the carton size, dimensions, weight, number of units ahead of time or one time only because it will always most likely 
will be always the same size of carton, dimensions, weight, unit size. And you define it one time and then you have, don't have to do it anymore. And that's a big thing, first of all, to prevent mistakes. And it's really for us, it was really time consuming process because what we usually did, we went to previous shipping plants, we would open them, go to the, uh, you know, prepare shipment tab, go scroll down, go see the measurements, copy them, create room for mistakes. So here it's saved, you do it one time and you forget about it. So let's, uh, this one, let's pretend, you know what, that we want to uh, ship 100 units of this one. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to put down drill and then click ready to pack. Once it's ready to pack, I can also add more items to this uh, process. Uh, also here you have pages, pagination, if you uh, have more items. We're going to click on pack individual items. And the beauty of this, that it's in steps. If you forgot something, you just click on it, you edit the ship from, it's all in one page. You don't have to move to pages. It's much faster, much more responsive. So we're going to go here to uh, close this and have and have all, all of the other tabs open. So now the next step, you also have a tick mark here so you can see that this step has been completed. Also here, um, I don't know where the naming comes. I think it's the, the step number three. So step 1B, pack individual units. So they're asking you like before, are you shipping it in all units in one box or are you mixing them? In our case, 99% of private label sellers will ship only one item. They will not mix things. But to people that do wholesale, they mix items, they want to save with shipping cost, they might have multiple different items with different labels packed in one box. Again, it's not our case, but if it is, then you're going to choose uh, multiple boxes will be needed or everything will fit in one box. In my case, it's one box. So uh, pack groups, what is, let's see, box weight, restart, how many boxes, two, let's say. I'm sorry, so here it's the number of cartons. I think what I meant before, it's on this step you're going to choose like how many cartons and all of that and if they are really uh, packed together. Let's say one box, okay? 10, 10, 10, 20 pounds. Confirm package information. Confirm and continue. SKU already case packed 10 units in 10 boxes. Packing information of these SKUs was provided in step one. Okay, perfect. Now they will validate the SKUs, they will validate some more info like uh, ship date must be between today and the calendar from your today. So let's do the ship day at the 30th, okay? So now they're asking you, is this like a small parcel or is this a pallet or uh, less than truckload or small parcel delivery? In our case, it's one carton, it will be one. Okay, now it select the shipping carrier. So. Uh, in this case, because we shipped from China, we're going to choose other, okay? So non-Amazon partner, and then we're going to update the cost of the um, ship date must be between today and one calendar the year from today. Hmm. It's 2020 for some reason. That's why it didn't allow me to ship. So we choose the other, accept charge, so no, there are no charges here. But if we choose like, uh, you know, UPS, uh, in the other step, we can uh, use the, if I'm not wrong, if it will be, uh, let's try to change it to a US address and see if they're allowing us the option to purchase the label directly from them. They should. In the previous uh, plan, it was, uh, in, the, in the previous interface, it allowed us to do it. So now we changed it, close, let's go to this step, confirm and continue. Select shipping carrier. Okay, now because the address is UPS, they are giving us the price. They are telling us you can purchase the label from us. Uh, if you want, or you can choose other and then there will not be any charge. You can ship it yourself or whatever. 
if you ship from China address, it will uh, not even allow you to have this option like we saw uh, previously. So now I, cho I choose the others, accept charges and confirm shipping. Ready to continue. Okay, now like before it will allow us to print the labels like that, which you stick. So because we are shipping it from China, these are the labels that we'll send to our freight forwarder or to the factory or to whoever is shipping our goods. And they are going to stick it on the carton itself. And then when it arrives to the US, usually they have an agent, a local agent here, which the agent take the actual carrier label, UPS, FedEx, DHL, whatever you name it, or if it's truck shipping, uh, then there will not be any other label. Uh, so that's it. You go to the shipping queue, you print it out. And then on the shipping queue, your job is to update the tracking number. Okay. I didn't see where you can uh, rename the plan name. That's that's a little uh, uh, not funny, but weird. Like where, where they do that. So, um, okay, here, shipping pen name. So you can rename it and it's super, super important. I like to really call it the product name. So let's say pretend hairbrush. I like to name it with the number of units. So let's say 500 units. Then I like to call it the method that I use to ship it. So fast sea shipping or regular sea shipping or air shipping. Or lately we use truck to send to Europe. So you name it like that. So it's easier to really understand uh, and manage everything. Okay. So you do that, you go to the shipping queue when you're done. And then uh, I like to click on the plan and just update the tracking numbers when they are available, once they are available. So um, where there are ways you can actually update those, print, let's say I printed. Okay. Now mark as shipped. When I click mark as shipped, um, this, is, this is different than before. Okay, so what's next? Apply the correct FBID label on each box. Work with your carrier to create the carrier shipping labels to your boxes. Hand off the boxes to the carrier. Provide tracking IDs for your carrier by clicking track shipment. Okay, okay. So we have to click on track shipment. Let's go here to the shipping queue again. Track shipment. And here on the track shipment, you'll have to put the tracking number. Let's pretend like that and that's it it's saved now in this specific one I don't know if I have an option to delete it or not but um, yes you don't have option so you can only delete it after or, or before this step before you actually uh, before step number two so if you are here already and you click on uh, go to shipping queue Sorry, you go to that step. I'm sorry, when we click the mark that's shipped, we cannot really delete the plan anymore. So that's the thing. I'm sorry that I'm uh, not 100% sure about it. It's very new. Um, and the concept is very uh, similar to, you know, before. It just, I think the main difference is that it's in one page. Um, the also, like you don't have to leave. A lot of times we ship from different locations. Uh, so to, to, to do that, it was very hard. You have to go edit. When you go to edit, it's taking you back uh, to a different page. On that page, you save and then you go back to the same shipping plan. It was really tedious process. And now they really made it much, much better. So that's it. I hope it was helpful. By the way, you can also go to your Manage FBA inventory and you can create the plan from here as well. You click on Send and Replenish Inventory. And the process is very similar. It's the same. You're going to head. Oh, here it's funny. They're like doing it the old way. Okay. If you do it from here. So it's a very similar process. The same result, just different interface. I think the new interface is better. Well, it's a little confused even for me. You saw when I did it uh, with all the steps because we're used to this one. But I think that it's better. And once we get used to it, it will save us a lot of time and prevent mistakes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It helped you understand better how to create a shipping plan. And uh, that I'll see you in the next video. 
please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe and uh that's it thank you for watching again <laughs>